Tune for NJ Today. From our satellite bureaus, our partners in newsrooms and on college campuses across the state, and from the production studios of Montclair State University, this is NJ Today with Mike Schneider. Happy New Year. Welcome to NJ Today. I'm Desiree Taylor. Mike Schneider is off. New Jersey is starting the new year with one less municipality. Instead of 566, there are now just 565. That's because Princeton Borough and Princeton Township have officially merged. As NJ Today's Lauren Wonka reports, there's been a lot of preparation and cooperation to achieve this goal. And I kind of liken the voyage that we went through to the Apollo missions. And today, ladies and gentlemen, the Eagle has landed. The first day of the new year marks the first day of the new Princeton. Residents of both Princeton Township and Princeton Borough voted in the November 2011 election to consolidate the two municipalities. It's not the first time the referendum appeared on the ballot. The measure was most recently rejected in 1996. Administrator Bob Brushai credits the approved merger with a larger grassroots movement. I just think it's representative of the community wanting more community that there are two separate towns that wanted to build a community. Brushai says the state is committed to pay 20 percent of the approved unification costs. Princeton doesn't have a final number on the transition cost, but they have calculated the projected cost savings for taxpayers. Well, the projected savings the first year was slightly under $2 million. We estimate that it will probably be somewhere between 2.4 maybe 2.7 million at the end when we uh, when we you know finish budgeting and the like. Chad Gurner is outgoing mayor of the former Princeton Township. This actual effort was really kind of triggered by the 2007 passage of the Local Option Municipal Consolidation Act. Uh, that act was added a lot more flexibility to studying consolidation and that kind of got our process going. The newly elected mayor and six council members were sworn in today, but not without choosing their term limits first, randomly, from a top hat. Two one-year terms, two two-year terms, and two three-year terms. Supporters joined together to celebrate the historic day, like resident Mimi Omazinski. Well, I just think it was an obvious next step for the town. We're going to get incredible savings from it, and we're going to be able to take the best of both the township and the borough. Bob Durkee is vice president and secretary of Princeton University. The university has been in both the borough and the township. So for us, to now be in one municipality really is a great step forward. We shared ba basically 13 shared services before we actually consolidated. Our major two outstanding were police and public works. Senator Barbara Buono says the community's spirit of cooperation and grassroots support is something to be marveled at. There are many, many challenging budget decisions that are going to have to be made. Municipalities are under an enormous amount of pressure with state aid having uh, decreased over the years. Property taxes have gone up dramatically in the last several years. And so we have to explore every possible possible way to uh, bring that pressure down. The newly elected mayor says today marks an instance of real democracy in action, adding that all eyes are on Princeton throughout the state and nationwide. In Princeton, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.